Gregor, a late goal to get a point there, but there's probably no denying a hugely disappointing afternoon. Absolutely. Uh, players are no living up to expectations we need at this club, and harsh reality is we've not been good enough for the last few weeks. So, uh, majorly disappointed. Disappointed for the players, the management, the fans, but as I said, not good enough today. Start of the game, whilst it was very scrappy, a couple of half chances, but when that goal went in from Dumbarton, it, it just seemed that we couldn't get ourselves back, the foot back on the ball and, and get back playing again. First 15 minutes, I think we started well, we passed the ball, we had a couple of chances, but as soon as we, we lose a terrible goal from our point of view, uh, and as soon as that happened, I think we got nervous, we didn't keep try to do with the things that we were implemented on the training part to bring into the game. As I said, it's, it's, the harsh reality is it's, it's not good enough for Falkirk Football Club and myself and the players need to, need to ex accept that and we've got to get back to drawing board Monday and, and work hard because at the end of the day we've still got realistic targets uh, of what we need to do and as I said, the, the fans' disappointment, we've got to accept that because as I said, it's not good enough. And as you said, you've hit the nail on the head there, and that you, you can understand that frustration. Absolutely, been there myself because I support the club. Uh, they, they pay their money, they come in their numbers. You, you can't really ask for much more. They give us a backing every single week, and as I said, we're, we are not living up to the expectations and, and the realities that we've not been good enough in the last few weeks. So they've got every right to to, to give their anger. A late finish, and that you know David McMillan's strike comes back off the arm of the back defender. Dylan McManus puts away the penalty. Um, that goal, we time was against us at that point. Were you hoping just it could have been that one last push? Uh, well, obviously we, we still try to, to push on to get that winner. But at the end of the day, we, we didn't create enough. We didn't. The goalies barely made a save in the game. And then at the end of the day, we, we've got to. But as a as a whole, we've got to we've got to do more to, to work teams, and as I said, it's just disappointing because as a as a club this size, we've got to be coming. And no disrespect to them, Martin, I've been here myself. I know how they play, uh, but you, you've got to make more chances than we did today, and and, that, and that's probably why we've came away with a one-one. Last week was uh, a difficult week, and on Monday, if you put it with yourself, it'll probably get even harder again, and it's up to. Um, and you choose captain and, and as a team you'll be now looking to put that right in a week that leads up to a Scottish Cup tie Absolutely it's, it's, I don't think I need to hide away that we, we had a meeting at the start of the week we, we discussed where we go and how, how to get results because at the end of the day the last few, the last few weeks we've, we've not been picking up enough points uh, so as I said well, we, we need to work now focus to Friday night I've told the boys about the game, the left goal are going to be no pushover. I've, I've, I've played there myself against them many times. They're a good, they're a good club. They've got high expectations, so it's going to be a difficult night. So, at the end of the day, we have to go. But at the end of the day, we, we've got to go and win that game. And that's that's no beating about the bush. We, we have got to win that.